My name is Caitlin Ogilvie, and I'm a supervisor of evidence-based practices here at UCFS. My name is Hilary Krantz, and I am a licensed clinical social worker in the autism program at UCFS. And we're here today to talk about anxiety in young children around COVID-19. We're going to be talking a little bit about the difference between hypervigilance and vigilance and give you guys a few easy step-by-step -step tips to help keep yourself and your families healthy and safe. So let's talk a little bit about anxiety and the difference between normal worry and um, a child who might be experiencing some significant symptoms around COVID-19. So if your kiddo or you are a little bit worried right now, that's okay. This is kind of a scary time and it's normal to be a little worried. But some of the things that we also want to shed light on well, is um, really keeping up with your routines. Um, as caregivers, the best thing we can do for our children to help them feel safe and secure is to continue um, their everyday routine. They should be waking up, brushing their teeth, getting dressed, um, having activities, nap times, go to bed in the normal time. Those routines are incredibly important during these times. Especially for kids who are visual, writing it out, mapping it out, using pictures, that, and help them be a part of their routine. When you have some more time and flexibility, involve your kiddo, help them make a routine that feels good for them and kind of helps keeps them grounded right now. So some other tips on helping your child stay safe during COVID-19 would be um, instituting you know, some hand washings. Um, so building it into that routine, for example. And we have, we have some kind of handy dandy steps here. You only need three things. So it's super simple, sink, soap, a towel. So our first step, you just turn on the sink. You make sure both of your hands are wet. Put some soap on your hands, and then you're gonna scrub both hands together. You can count to 20, you can sing a song, but about 20, 20 seconds, and just rinse off your hands, turn off the faucet, and you're good to go. Yeah, usually about two verses of happy birthday would suffice. Um, so building that into the routine, you know, before meals, after using the bathroom, um, before touching their face or after blowing their nose, coughing. Speaking of coughing, I'm just thinking about what do kids do when they hear someone cough? And they might have an anxious response. They may want to run. They might want to, they might start to worry about their health and did they catch whatever that person has. And one of the things we can do as caregivers is help um, help them by A, bring them to the bathroom to wash their hands, but also kind of, um, Know that also know the difference between what I'd consider vigilance or hypervigilance. And a vigilance stance and that would be to have them wash their hands or use something like the social distancing and making sure that they're far enough from their peers and that will help create safety. Because hypervigilance would look more in the form of if a person were to cough, if Hillary were to cough being maybe spraying her with Lysol, um, that would be hypervigilance or not leaving their room at all and not interacting with the family even if no one's sick. Um, so ultimately it is important to take precautions but keep a routine and know that the things that you're doing are helpful mm -hmm. and this is how we can manage anxiety in a way that doesn't add to our stress and add to our chaos. The last thing I want to, or one of the final things I want to say, is that it's really important to stick to facts. Um, right now there's a lot of misinformation mm -hmm. circulating out there, and so sticking to what we know for sure, coming from credible resources, um, is, incredible, is important. Um, we have, kids are really good at filling in the holes and making assumptions um, to make the story make sense, but if you, give, if you prepare them with enough facts, and only give them facts, then it'll help lower their anxiety as well. And being mindful of just how old your kiddo is, giving information that is age appropriate, being mindful of their understanding, and what information is gonna benefit them, and what you know might just be above what they can take right now. So being mindful of all that. Absolutely. The final thing I actually do wanna say now is um, it's really important as caregivers that we put on our own oxygen mask during this time. Um, as caregivers, we can get very anxious ourselves and feel very stressed out by the idea of being home with our children for a couple weeks or being off of work. Um, so it's important during this time that we're doing things to take care of ourselves, whether it's getting outside, making sure we're eating healthy foods, calling um, a friend, absolutely, reaching out to your social support because you're gonna, you know, have a lot of 
cup filling to do for your kiddos, so making sure your cup is full and that you're nourishing yourself too is really important. Thanks for listening. We're all in together. We've got this.